Yes, it's me again and somebody did guess. They guessed that this was a jetpack, an RC jetpack. And I'll do the unveiling so you can see. Here it is, complete with Ken. Ken the Wonder Doll, who will fly this jetpack. Let me zoom in a bit for you so you can have a closer look at the jetpack. There it is. Look, we have a couple of EDFs, one either side of good old Ken. He's got bloody gel on his hair. There it is. Um, as you can see, has a couple of EDFs, has some control vanes down the bottom. This is model on the Martin jetpack. This is the um, jetpack that New Zealander Glenn Martin has developed. And so it's, it's not quite a scale model, but it's based on the same principles. So it means we'll get a chance to see whether Glenn Martin's um, design actually works and whether it'll meet the claims made for it. Now, I've still got a bit of work to do on it. I've got to put the little servos to control the vanes on here, but it's got gyros, it's got the whole gizmo, the whole setup, and test flights will be very, very soon. Um, maybe even the next day or so, and we'll see if it flies. See if, if it does fly, whether I can fly it, because it'll take a little bit of skill. Even with the, the three gyros on board, it's probably not going to be that stable, at least in the initial versions, but it will be something for you to all have a good look at, because... I'm sure you'll want to build one yourself, your own RC jetpack. So I'll do the plans and if anyone wants to manufacture it, then they can give me a shout and I'm happy to pass on um, the benefit of my experiences, my design. Um, probably be a small fee involved if you're going to sell it, but if you just want to build it for yourself, then no worries, feel free. And now before everybody tells me off because I haven't uploaded the build video for the little nitro biplane, the little Cox powered nitro biplane from Core Flute, then please bear with me. My camera has caused me endless troubles and I have done the whole build about four times now trying to get some decent footage, but the white balance changes and the brightness goes up and down. It's a nightmare and the amount of post editing work I've had to do or post filming work in the edit I've had to do to get some even half decent footage has been mind boggling. So I will persevere. The video will be up soon. It may be up in two parts. I've got some stuff. First half of the build is done, come out reasonably well. I might put that video up shortly. And then once I get the gremlins with the camera worked out, I'll put the rest up. In the meantime, Ken says goodbye. Say goodbye, Ken. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me until the next video on the XJet channel. Ken, you're a brave man. You're going to fly this jetpack. I wouldn't want to be you.